the work performed and costs incurred during results recording or when the usage decision is made can be confirmed in a QM order in cost processing. The work involved in defect analysis and defect removal can be recorded in the QM order using direct activity allocation. The order type QN01 can be used for these non-conformity costs. Costs are charged to the relevant cost centers using the QM order. Once the usage decision has been made, the system determines the quality score, or Q score, for the inspection lot. You can define the procedure for calculating the quality score in customizing, and store this procedure in the inspection setup, in the QM view of the material master. For example, the following calculation procedures are available. Quality score based on the share of scrap in the inspection lot. Quality score based on the maximum share of scrap for the characteristics. Quality score based on the weighted share of scrap for the characteristics. Quality score from the usage decision code. You can use your own function modules to supplement the calculation procedures that are available in the system. Quality score, standardized statistical value, An inspection usually generates appraisal and non-conformity costs that can be posted to a QM order for cost settlement in controlling. This can be a general QM order that is assigned to the material for a specific inspection type or an individual QM order. The data from QM for the vendor evaluation that can contribute to a quality evaluation comes from different areas in the company. This includes the following data. Results of goods receipt inspections. Inspection lots for inspection lot origin 01. Results from the complaints, notifications for notification origin Q2, caused externally. Audit results, audit notes or inspection lots for inspection lot origin 07. The vendor evaluation in procurement guarantees an objective evaluation of the vendor since all vendors are assessed according to the same criteria. Quality scores from QM are included in the assessment procedure and can be weighted in the vendor evaluation. You differentiate between main and sub-criteria that are included in the vendor evaluation.